The northeast of Nigeria is a fabulous country of unending beauty. It has some of the finest landscapes in the country and forces vast and richly fertile agricultural land supported by multiple river systems. Within this mix is its rich diversity. The character and economic conditions of this ethnic and cultural diversity is defined in the main by their environment. The Northeast is a picture of rugged and hostile trails in especially parts of Taraba, Adamawa and Borno states. As a consequence, hundreds of communities are hard to reach and alienated on matters of development. In parts of Yobe and Borno, invasive desert environment moves out scores of people and takes over their settlements. Nigeria's Northeast is also emerging from the effects of over a decade of insurgency. It is an upheaval that created mass dislocation, loss of livelihoods and loved ones. Again, the background of their peculiar situations, the six states in the Northeast identify with the programs of the Community and Social Development Project, CSDP, as a workable pathway to addressing their challenges of poverty and social infrastructure. This program is a partnership between the federal government and the World Bank, and it is about building new natural resources and infrastructure or rehabilitating them. By design, the program targets poor and vulnerable communities in the Northeast and adapts a simple paradigm, the principle of bottom-up approach to development initiatives. The CSDP approach, which is centered on community-driven development, where the groups, the poor, the poor, uh, the vulnerable groups and the poor people in the communities are the one who conceive of their need, and the resources is put, development resources is put, is put at their disposal, and they go ahead to use it to meet their development need. This is unique. It is unique, and that is the secret of the success of CSDP. In the implementation of CSDP, the federal government seeks and obtains financial assistance from the World Bank and lends it to participating states. It does so through the Federal Project Support Unit, FPSU, in actual fact, the head of the Federal Project Support Unit is identified as the National Coordinator, Community and Social Development Project. CSDP has a very organized structure, from the federal to the state, to the local government, and down to the community. And over 90% of our structure is institutionalized by law. We have legal backing. All our state, 30 participating state agencies are backed, are set up by law, passed by the State House of Assembly. So they are, uh, there is legislation and there is funding support also, both from the state government and then as it is now from the World Bank. At the local government level, we have our local government review committee. They are also backed by edits, by law set up by the local government. CSDP in the Northeast is an objective reality, a conspicuously live endeavor, the realization of dreams of many communities who hitherto believed it won't happen. The program intervenes in eight sectors, water, health, education, and transportation among many. Again, as far as the Northeast is concerned, the very poor, the vulnerable, and the internally displaced persons are at the heart of the initiative. A blind community association in Aquiam, Miss our local government area of Ochi State, are changing the thinking of disabled communities in the state and advancing the lives of people in the area even without disability. In Miss our local government area of Ochi State, the Community and Social Development Agency has changed the way the blind population in that community are living their lives. These are communities who are very migrant, going to different parts of this country begging to find livelihood. Now, the livelihood is right there at their own home. The community and social development in Bauchi has built a center for them where it can educate their children, where their wife can learn skill. And in fact, there is a water supply system that will allow them not to only get water for their household chores, but they can sell it as well and find income. It is a brilliant intervention that is changing the way this blind community are doing their lives and they are happy about it. It is Aquium Blind Center in Bauchi. This blind association had a land of their own. They approached CSDP in Bochi for a grant to build school for themselves and for their children 
and a skill acquisition center for their women. It is all well for this community now. The school is a reality. The blind members take lessons in modern schooling with the addition to lessons in Braille from these classes. Their children and even the children of the community members are served by the school. The greatest contribution of this intervention in Aquium is the fact that this blind population who used to migrate across states of the nation to beg are now harnessed and kept in one environment learning. Their children are attending classes too instead of leading their parents in their travels of begging. Their women do no longer feel abandoned too. Their husbands are home and they are learning skills that support their economic standard. It is part of the package for this blind association that they have a water borehole too. The water not only serves their domestic needs, they also sell it to build on their income to sustain their projects. It is a beautiful picture of a blind population and their families in good spirit here and looking at the future with hope. Kagani nanda bana iya sa TV a nan gare. Amma yanzu saboda kishi da kuma abin da yasa ya fada da mun da wani bati ne da ji mun je taro ni ne ba cha mun na join nestor gaba daya. Sai muka tafi taro da magaran. Da na je na samu duk abokai na ana turanci ana abubuwa. Sai na ji hankali na tashi. Lokacin da da a baya an ce in zo ne makarantar nan a Kano ban yi ba. Yanzu Allah ka wace gari ne shesa na tattara Allah shi ne shi ne kowa sai na hakura da baran nan da komi domin in yi wannan abu in Allah ubangiji ya ce mu keni na samu takarda to alhamdulillah Bauchi Sir communities have over 350 macro projects which they built with the support from the CSDP in some communities other support organizations came to add to what CSDP has done it was the case in Kapi Ia in Kirpu local government area these people have no access to it actually a journey to the area until crossing deep sands and dry river channels despite their terrain the community showed the support of the CSDP to have a hospital there they have their hospital all right and more than 10 neighboring communities are benefiting from it now the people of Kapi Ia had either to not a health center that will take care of all their health needs they do have it now courtesy of the intervention or the assistance of the CSDP in the state now the beauty of the intervention is that while the structure is there other support agencies came forward and put a structure for them like there is a water system put forward for them by wash wash is sought for water sanitation and hygiene that means that there is a water supply that will help the patients in the hospital and as much as the patient the community will benefit too you talk of multiplier effect then wash then enship came too enship came with the support in subsidy that is subsidizing the drug that they take which it provides and provide them with the furniture for the clinic itself taking advantage of the health center however water sanitation and hygiene wash another support agency came forward to hold a water borehole for them on the premises of the health center csdp is hinged on four components and component two of csdp is building capacity of stakeholders and partnership building and and uh, i mean component that means that funds have been allocated to each of these components i think about 10 million dollars has been allocated for promoting partnerships the record of partnership as it is is very robust there are so many uh, individuals donor partners even some uh, government agencies that are complementing adding complementary service to communities after cdp intervention this is is widespread the community are now having a clean source of drinking water and a higher ground for better living wasn't all that yet another support group and ship is intervening with the drugs at the health center in a sustainable way csdp officials in bochi say there are over 300,000 csdp supported projects across all the state all completed and all in operation you see what i'm doing presently is just managing people's expectation we have an avalanche of letter of expression that is coming from the communities we always have politicians traditional rulers always coming to the office clamoring for one community or the other so really it's definitely a cause of concern but uh what we are doing is uh we are sensitizing the government for the need for the government to come in with resources so that we we'll continue doing what we've been doing before to 2009 to date we have uh 
approved 473 micro projects, out of which more than 350 fully completed and are functional. And we have a few number of that are still ongoing. What even makes the project to be so accepted by the general populace is the concept of the community-driven development, whereby you put the community at the driver's seat. In fact, almost it's a baby of this government and it's the baby of everybody in the state. The impression that the program will end in June. The program will not end in June. The program is a program of the state government, of the federal government, supported by the World Bank. The agencies that are implementing, particularly at state level, are agencies of state government established by law. The staff that are operating these projects in each of the states are staff engaged by the state government. So they will all be there after June. The agency will be there. It has its life documented in a law of the state. It will be there after June. What happens after June is that this round of financial support from the World Bank will come to a close. There has been several rounds of support. In fact, the project, as you know, is more than 10 years. So there has been rounds of financial support. The latest round of financial support will end in June. So ordinarily, we will expect that the way the project has been accepted, managed by the state government, they will continue to run it. And they might ask the World Bank for further assistance in addition to their own resources. It's an appeal we'll continue to make. Uh, we do not think that this June 2020 should be the end of CSDP. We expect that this project should be sustained and more resources committed from the federal government and from donor partners to us providing this development and meeting the needs of people at that level. Not just their social uh, and infrastructure need, but also some form of socioeconomic need, livelihood support need that can percolate and, and, and trickle down to the poor so that they'll have even resources to send children to school, have resources to attend uh, uh, the health centers beyond the base transfer and even the conditional cash transfer that we are currently getting from support from the World Bank, I mean from the federal government and are of course World Bank and other supports. If the project goes beyond June, there is hope of the hundreds of communities who apply to be supported by CSDP, but whose request is still pending. With some months of the closure deadlines, though, some communities stand a chance of still getting a project of their own in their community. Government has clearly stated this ambition. I want to sustain the gains of this program like CSDP and others. I want to build and scale on these gains. I want to lift 100 million people out of poverty. And I also want to do this with an overall uh, human capital development agenda. So the institution is being set up. The systems are being developed. The programs are out there, like CSDP. CSDP ends in June. What next for it? Our ambition is to continue on the gains, to scale. And then we are when we are consolidating on this gain and scaling, what is the implications for the government? The government is then to fund it. Even if the CSDP programs in June, the national coordinator at CSDP, through states and local government, can adopt the CSDP model in delivering development programs to their people. Since it proves a workable paradigm, he is not alone on this line, though. This paradigm has been on the board now for more than 10 years. The paradigm of actually putting the resources in the hands of the poor to be on the driver's seat and manage the interventions by themselves and get the services for themselves over time, which is very strong in terms of ownership, very strong in terms of maintenance and all of that. It has been there for quite some time. I think it is high time that the state government begins to expose this paradigm to other sources of partnership. There are philanthropic organizations that can put their resources to 
in this same program as well. There are private sector organizations that wants to do co corporate uh, relations and can put resources in this same structure. In fact, it is possible to coalesce many more of the interventions that government is doing on a uh, supply-driven perspective into this paradigm and make sure that the leadership, the ownership, the commitment of this service delivery is by the beneficiaries uh, themselves. Given our field experience, CSVP has proven to be a critical model that not only touches lives, but also changes them. It proves to be a versatile endeavor too, with visibility across all areas in the Northeast and commended everywhere. It is like an appreciative community member said in Gombe, next to government, CSDP has touched more lives in the Northeast.